We made it. I can't believe this is open. This is so rock. See the other side of the world. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, there's some palm trees up there in that crack. I believe they can grow up there. <laughs> How did they get up there, I wonder? It's called the spiral labyrinth. Into the old Wilbanks cabin. Hey guys, welcome to another Explorer Adventure. This is Eric and Jamie, and we're excited to be here at the beginning of season two. And this year, we're gonna bring you along with us with a fun new activity called Trail Trivia. So here's how it's gonna work. In each of our videos, we're gonna be doing trail trivia throughout. Keep track of your answers, and then you can either submit your guesses in the comments below, or if you want to be entered into one of our quarterly drawings, you can head over to our website at exploreadventure.com forward slash giveaways. And if you submit your answers there, you'll get entries into the drawing. This is an example of one of our quarterly drawings. This will be our first one. This is a Spirit Lounger chair by Alps Mountaineering. It's great for camping, overlanding, or just barbecuing in your backyard. So if you go over to our website, we'll have information about the current giveaway, as well as additional ways that you can earn entries to the giveaways. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon so you can be looped into all of our videos when they release, because each video will have a new set of trail trivia and another way to enter you into the drawing. All right, so now that you know how to play the game, let's get this adventure started. Let's get on the road. Hey guys, welcome to Kofa National Wildlife Refuge uh, between Quartzsite and Yuma, Arizona. Big shout out to Ben from OverlandTrailGuides.com for this awesome route and recommendation. We're excited to be here. We've been driving all day from Utah to get down to Southern Arizona and this is our first time here. Yeah, I love the cactus. It's awesome and it's really nice to get out of the cold and to be somewhere nice and warm. We're excited to show you what we've got ahead of us. Jamie, I can't believe we we made it. I can't believe this is open. This is so rock. Isn't this cool? All right, just to show you guys our cool campsite, especially the cool backdrop. There's Skull Rock. And there's a burning fire in the Arizona sky. Just absolutely incredible. Since we're just pulling into camp tonight and it's late, we wanted a quick and easy dinner. So we're just gonna have steak bites with some cauliflower rice risotto. It's a healthy, fast, easy meal. It's something we love on the first night of camp. What you working on? Making some dinner. Awesome.
Okay, for the risotto, we're just gonna add a little bit of cream. Pop it off with some cheese. And just like that, dinner is served. That looks amazing. Oh, wow. Cauliflower rice risotto and some delicious steak bites. Incredible. All told, I think dinner took maybe 10 minutes from start to finish. So if you want a quick, easy camping meal, this is the one. And you're not going to be sacrificing on flavor steak. either. Incredible. It tastes really, really good. Perfect way to end the night. Oh, yeah. Eating a fantastic dinner, looking at the sunset, and enjoying it all with my best friend. Cheers. Well, it's a beautiful morning, isn't it? Yeah, the weather was nice. It wasn't overly cold. It was a little chilly, but it could have been worse because we could have been in Utah. I'm gonna hike up this little trail. Looks like there's a little window in the rock. Window rock. Oh, that is gorgeous. Hold it over and I'll roll it up. Look at that. Oh, masterpiece. Little Cholula on this. Wow. Incredible. Ready for some trail trivia, guys? How did Kofa National Wildlife Refuge get its name? Was it after A, James Kofa, the first pioneer settler in the region, B, the Kofa cactus, C, the king of Arizona mine, or D, Chief Kofa, one of the Native American leaders in this area? All right, so we're headed back in this little canyon. It's nice and cool in the shade and very warm in the sun. We've heard it's really beautiful back here and there's a bunch of, what is it? Fan palms. Fan palms, okay. palm trees up there in that crack. It's crazy. I can't believe they can grow up there. <laughs> How did they get up there, I wonder? It's interesting. There's not any other palms anywhere else in this area. Nature finds a way. Yep. Isn't that a Jurassic Park saying? <laughs> I don't know, but it's a good one. Way up in the canyon are a bunch of palms. I wish they were a little closer, but they are really cool. Kind of hidden back there in the shadows. 
Some experts think the California fan palms gradually made their way into these canyons after the North American glaciation period, as the climate warmed up and turned more desert-like. Others speculate they might have caught a ride from elsewhere, maybe courtesy of birds or coyotes carrying seeds in their bellies. Somehow, they found a way to survive in the narrow cracks and crevices of Palm Canyon. It's the unique microclimate tucked away in this protected canyon that allows these trees to grow and thrive. Kofa Wildlife Refuge, nestled in the Sonoran Desert, experiences scorching temperatures of up to 120 degrees in the summer and rainfall that rarely exceeds six inches annually. Even still, it supports a rich variety of plant and animal life. Millions of years ago, the southwestern United States resembled a broad plain with mountain ranges and erupting volcanoes. Some violent eruptions left huge collapsed pits called calderas, where mountains once stood. Scientists suggest that two immense calderas formed this area, covering the surrounding marshes with hundreds of feet of ash, rocks, cinders, and lava. Then, about 25 million years ago, after a long quiet period, more earthquakes and eruptions shook the ground. The previously formed rock layers cracked, split open, tilted, and lifted. The Kofa Mountains probably formed during this period of violent change. And, uh, you can walk around the circle if you want. What is it? It's called the Spiral Labyrinth. It's just a... Someone just made it? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. All right. We made it to the middle. It's got all kinds of rocks and memorabilia that people have left. It's really cool. Kofa Wildlife Refuge was established in 1939 to protect what species of animal? Was it A, the bighorn sheep, B, Gila monster, C, Gamble's quail, or D, the turkey vulture? hugged by a tree. He says you can't hug a cactus. check out the Kofa cabin. The Civilian Conservation Corps constructed the Kofa cabin in the late 1930s. This CCC group was made up primarily of young Native Americans from the Colorado Indian Tribes Reservation. 
The east side of the two-room basalt stone cabin is open to the public to visit and camp overnight on a first-come, first-served basis. An assortment of supplies here in case any weary traveler forgot something. Got some beans and soups and applesauce, magazines, toilet paper, a few random things. What the American that? Medical Association Home Medical Encyclopedia, A through H. Once we get back down here, we'll start looking for different places to camp. And then tomorrow we'll probably see the Wilbanks cabin. Okay, sounds good. Well, let's head out and go find our next little home away from home. Let's do it. Is it level? Uh, it's not perfect, but um, it's better than it was. For tonight's dinner, we are having lasagna. And you may be asking yourself, how can we have lasagna when we're camping? Well, I'm about to show you. So basically what you do is you cook up your meat, I'm using sausage, and then uh, you add your spaghetti sauce. Meanwhile, while all of that's happening, you're also going to be boiling water and you're going to cook some pasta. Then at the end, when the pasta is done and the meat sauce is done, you just assemble everything together in a bowl. You add some cottage cheese and mozzarella cheese. Voila! Lasagna in a bowl and dinner is served. It's another quick and easy one and tasty. Wow. Okay. Stir it up. Oh, it smells divine. It smells heavenly. Something so serene and beautiful about the desert. It's still, it's quiet, and really nothing beats the sunsets.
get our masterpiece out, Jamie, and see. Wow, this looks so good. Ooh -wee. Oh, wow, look at that cheese. Beautiful. Let's eat. Yum. Okay, friends, it's time for some more trail trivia. Behind us, we've got a stand of these awesome, majestic saguaro cacti. Scientists believe they live between 150 and 200 years. The tallest ones get up to 75 to 100 feet, and they weigh several tons each. They're quite impressive. So here's some trail trivia for you. On average, how long does it take a saguaro to grow one to three inches? Is it A, eight months, B, one year, C, three and a half years, or D, eight years? The trail that we took was overgrown with brush, sharp thorns, and so we got lots and lots of pinstriping. Oh, that was so bad. Hey guys, welcome to the Hoodoo Hilton. It was actually built from a kit, so they assembled the pieces. These are Africanized bees, so you don't want to get stung. Uh-oh, keep your key away. We can see on the map there's a cemetery, but we think the road has been closed. So we're gonna just hike over here and see if we can find it. When each of us are gone and, and all that's left is a rotten headstone, so what kind of mark will we have left on the earth? Well, Kofa's, uh, we're finding out, is, is pretty huge. We've been driving the last two and a half days and our gas gauge is showing right above a quarter and uh, we're not even halfway through. You may be stuck out here. Don't like it made much of a dent in the tank. <laughs> 